COVID-19 is a new strand of the coronavirus that was discovered in Wuhan, China in late 2019. A coronavirus is a family of viruses, and there are seven known human coronaviruses according to the CDC. The virus spreads by person-to-person -person contact through things like coughs and sneezes. It can cause anywhere from mild to severe illness. However, those with underlying conditions or the elderly are at the greatest risk, according to the CDC. Although many symptoms overlap with the flu, COVID-19 can also cause shortness of breath and trouble breathing. In addition, while flu symptoms can develop quickly, COVID-19 symptoms typically develop gradually and worsen over time, according to CNN. In December 2019, the Wuhan province in China reported a series of unknown illnesses to health authorities. Shortly after, health officials discovered a new coronavirus, COVID-19. The virus is believed to have started at a popular poultry and seafood market. By January 23rd, the virus had spread to Taiwan, Japan, Thailand, South Korea, and the United States, infecting 570 people and killing 17. As thousands of people became infected in China, the World Health Organization declared a public health emergency January 30th. A day later, the Trump administration announced it would deny non-Americans entry to the United States if they had traveled to China in the last 14 days. By February 9th, the number of infected people rose to 40,171, with 908 deaths, officially surpassing the amount that died from SARS during the outbreak in the early 2000s. The first major European outbreak began in Italy February 23rd. The number of cases quickly grew from 5 to 150, and Italy responded by shutting down 10 towns around the country. With only 35 cases in the U.S. on February 24th, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention warned of the potential for an outbreak. The Trump administration asked Congress for $1.25 billion to help prepare for an outbreak in America. On February 26th, COVID-19 arrived in Latin America, brought by a Brazilian man who had recently traveled to Italy. As the number of global cases rose to 87,000 by February 28th and the United States saw its first death due to COVID-19, the Trump administration administered a do not travel warning to places in Italy and South Korea. They also banned travel to and from Iran along with denying entrance to anyone who has traveled to Iran in the last 14 days. The number of cases worldwide then rose to over 90,000 and the death toll rose to 3,000 by March 3rd. On March 6, COVID-19 arrives in Minnesota, infecting one man who had recently been on a cruise that had a confirmed case. On March 9th, the Prime Minister of Italy imposed a national quarantine, being the first democratic country to go on lockdown since World War II. On March 11th, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak an official pandemic, and President Trump announced a travel ban on all of Europe, excluding the UK and Ireland. On March 13th, Trump declared a national emergency. The same day, Governor Tim Walz declared a peacetime state of emergency as the number of cases in Minnesota rose to 14. On March 14th, St. Louis Park confirmed its first case of COVID-19. March 15th, Governor Tim Walz orders the closing of all Minnesota schools through Executive Order 2002, beginning March 18th. The CDC recommends stopping gatherings of 50 people or more. By March 16th, the amount of confirmed cases in Minnesota had risen to 54. Walls closed all in-person restaurants, bars, and other public facilities. Takeout and curbside pickups were still allowed. Trump advises Americans to avoid gatherings of 10 people or more. On March 18th, Trump signs the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. March 24th, and the Olympics are postponed for the fourth time in its history to the summer of 2021. The number of cases in the United States surpasses 50,000. March 25th, Walls announced a stay-at-home order for all Minnesota residents. By March 26, the United States became number one in the world of confirmed cases with 81,321 and over 1,000 deaths, officially surpassing China and Italy. March 27th, Trump signs the $2 trillion coronavirus economic stimulus bill. Cases in the United States surpass 100,000. April 2nd, global cases rise to over 1 million with 51,000 deaths. Cases in the United States hits 232,837. The death toll reaches 5,000. On April 3rd, the CDC and the White House advised Americans to begin wearing cloth face coverings. By April 4th, the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. rises to 300,000 and the death toll reaches 8,000. In order to stop the spread of COVID-19, officials say we need to flatten the curve. Flattening the curve refers to the two general ways COVID-19 could play out. The tall curve is if we do nothing. The pandemic will likely end sooner, but the number of infected will surpass the hospital's capacity, including the number of beds and supplies available, likely killing millions worldwide. The second curve is demonstrating what will happen if we all do our part and take necessary precautions like social distancing. 
fewer people will likely be infected over a longer period of time. The number of cases nationally and worldwide is exponentially increasing, and since there is no cure or vaccine yet, individuals and governments need to take precautions in other ways to flatten the curve. Individuals can do their part by participating in social distancing. The number of confirmed cases is updated daily. Here is the number of confirmed cases as of April 23rd. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to develop, check slpecho.com for more coverage.